there are few places that can compare with California's Napa Valley, both for its beauty and for the wines it produces. Clearly, nature has blessed this region, though when it comes to making great wine, the human touch is essential. I like it, it's very good, you want that. But you see the, the seeds are really green? Yeah. We don't want Not that, really. we want brown seeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, brown seeds will give a very fine tannin, finesse, elegance mm -hmm. of tannin. Jean-Vievre Janssens is director of winemaking for Robert Mondavi Winery. She brings her French style and training to bear on the fruit of American soil. And the results oh, yeah. are some of Napa's most coveted vintages. How long have you been in love with grapes? All my life. Mondavi, like many large-scale winemakers around the world, knows its business can't survive on $100 bottles alone. The challenge is to cater to both connoisseurs and the budget-conscious alike. The quality of a field's soil, the weather during the growing season, and even the history of specific vines all factor in to the eventual cost of a wine. You see here how soft they are? Yeah. They are soft. Oh yeah, a little bit softer. Can you taste one of these and tell me what you're tasting? Hmm? They are nice, sweet, gentle. No, Still, like, Janssen's like, says in her vineyards, every grape is treated with TLC. We are working all our wines the same way. We have no discrimination. So they receive the treatment which will bring their potential to the highest of what they can deliver. It's good to know every grape gets its due. But what about us? Shopping for wines that balance quality and value is hardly a stroll through the vineyard. This smells exactly, I mean exactly like soy sauce. And that's where Gary Vaynerchuk comes to the rescue. His in-your-face approach is free of any note of wine snobbery. And I don't know why it's taken us so long to do the official What Wine Pairs With Cereal show, but we've finally done it. Even though his family's New Jersey store sells many of the wines he reviews, Vaynerchuk is famous for trash-talking anything that's not up to snuff. Dry, austere, almost like a Hall's menthol finish, a little one-dimensional actually completely not drinkable. I recently visited Vaynerchuk for some advice, but first I made a guest appearance on his video blog. Are you picking up stinky cheese? Yeah, stinky cheese, definitely. Like no, sweaty sock, funk. right? Yeah, There's yeah. funkifying. Yeah, but like a dorm room that, you know, somebody hasn't washed funky. clothes in a month or two. Yeah. Vaynerchuk says 90,000 thirsty people visit his website every day looking for help. When people are walking through the store, it can be overwhelming and intimidating. Are there any tricks or things they should specifically be looking for? You gotta play with the grapes. You know, what you really wanna do is mm. you wanna go in there and try as many different grapes as you can, or varietals as some people may say. Varietal is simply wine speak for the various kinds of wine producing grapes, like Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, or Merlot. If you can go a year or two and try as many different types of grapes as possible, you're gonna start knowing your own palate. Also, relationship. You can have a relationship with your wine shop owner and ask them to continue to push your palate in a different direction. When people are you know, trying to pair wines, I mean, that's intimidating too. You think it could be very easy to kind of offend people or you put the wrong wine at the wrong meal. You shouldn't have friends over that are gonna get offended with your <laughs> wine and food pairing, but that's a they whole nother happy. story. They should be happy. I think what it comes down to is this. Wine pairings are much more flexible than people think. I mean, we don't overthink which root beer goes with which, you know, hot dog or <laughs> what soda goes, you know, does bottled water go with salad but not with meat? I think people overthink it. I, I think you need to explore. And when it comes to red wines, here's one more tip. Open them an hour before drinking, or better yet, pour them into a wine decanter. I love decanting. Okay. Even for $10 wines. Everybody thinks of decanters for that foofy, foofy $100 wine. Yeah. Most reds really enjoy some Get air. Get better. Absolutely, they open up. Try these tips, and Vaynerchuk says your wine horizons will open up too.
Here are three of Vaynerchuk's picks for the season, all from regions that deliver great taste and value. An Australian Riesling, not too sweet. A Malbec from Argentina, big and bold. And for some sparkle, an Italian Prosecco. Try it with food, as well as your New Year's toast. I mean, how bad does it sound? Hey, go out and drink different wines for a couple of years. That sounds a lot of fun to me. And at the end of the day, when you come out of it, you have a much better sense of what's out there.